Then the Cougars took another series against the conference foe, UNC Pembroke. And then last weekend, it was a sweep against the Saints of Flagler College. And a lot of it was done with double plays. Here's a chance for CSU. And they pick up another double play. They lead the nation in double plays turns, so why not get one started here on our Friday evening? Let's head to the bottom of the first. Cougar bats up after this. Here comes the one-two pitch. Oh, breaking ball. Ring him up. Just a nasty pitch sent in there by Devin Dudall. Eller's payoff pitch is hit well by Bryson Horn into right field. Right fielder Harold going back towards the foul territory line. That's going to stay fair. Bryson Horn is going to round second base. Harold is down out there in the outfield. Bryson Horn has a chance for a home run. He's headed to the plate, and he's going to slide in safely and inside the park home run for Bryson Horn. To a nice start here with a couple of zeros on the board. Owen won the count. Taking off is Ryan for second base. They're going to try and steal on Brooks again. They got him. Robert Brooks. Didn't you get the memo the first time around? Here's the 2-1. The Mobley grounds that one. It's going to get... Oh, doesn't get past Balton, who makes a spinning throw over. And it's dug out by Horn. I did not think he was going to have a chance at that one. What a play. That's the quote that I'm uh, looking not at right now. Not family members, only limited family attendance. Now that can really start to get dicey there. The immediate family. There's the 1-1. One -one. Chopped over. Look at DR making a diving snag and a throw to first base. He got him. Wow. Her last year, just such a big addition to this Cougar lineup. And look at that one. He sends it for a ride in the left field. We're all evened up at two apiece. Dane Bullock, his first home run this season. And I will never forget his freshman year. Everyone just kind of looking around wondering, who is this guy? This guy has come here as a freshman, and here he is as a junior delivering a big hit. A double down the line. It's going to skirt all the way to the wall. It got lost out there and left by Hammonds. Look at Brooks chugging his way to third base. Two runs score. Cougars get the first runs of the game. Who is this kid? Well, his name is Robert Brooks. And he cranked it. Meadows is behind 0-1. There's the pitch from Scott. Meadows, a little bloop into right field. It's going to drop in for a base knock. One run is going to score. Cougars are going to test them. A second run coming in. Sliding in safely there is Will Banks. McDade all of a sudden is going to halt his way and go back to third base. Two runs score. David Meadows delivering for CSU. McDade, the lone returner on the infield. Here's the payoff pitch. Got him swinging. Now they're going to throw down the line and get him at third. Double play. What a job there by Robert Brooks. Cougars get out of another jam. One of just three hitters so far that's hitless for Flagler in this one. And he grounds it up the middle. A chance to get out of the inning. The flip over to second. And the first base for the Cougars. We hadn't seen a 6-4-3 double play turned. There it is. The fourth double play of the game that the Cougar defense has come up with. And none bigger than that one. Much better start to this at bat. 0-2 the count. Two on, two down. A lot of delivers. Check swing. Got him to go. A lot of picks up his second strikeout. So a lot of gives up the solo home run, but he gets two strikeout strands, two on the base pads. Cougars trail by one, heading to the bottom of the first. Steps into the batter's box. We're about set for first pitch. Let's get game number two underway here at Ragsdale Field. How about one pitch, one swing, and one out? We'll take that. Sundays are meant for red, and Boatwright's ahead one and two in the count with Teeter up at the plate. One two pitch, comebacker right to Boatwright, bobbled it, picks it up, makes the throw to first. Jamie Boatwright says, no big deal. Let me show you how it's done. A quick one, two, three. That's how we like to start here on Cougar Sports TV. Let's see if Will Banks can get on again. The three one pitch. That one lifted well into right field. Right fielder going back at the wall. See you later. Will Will Banks. Cougars in front. Yes, the answer to your question is he can get on, he can get around, and he can score. He can get all the way around. First home run as a Cougar for Will Banks. Here we go, two and two. One down, runner over on first base. Windhorse rolls it over to third base. Chance to go around the horn for the win. Can the Cougars do it? Yes, they can. There's that double play we asked for. How about that? How about that? 
for Columbus State. Down in the dirt, 9-2 to two in the bottom of the sixth inning before they reeled off eight consecutive. They've been getting to Leon Hart here in the bottom of the eighth. Curly flares one into left field. That's going to drop in in fair territory, and it's going to score two runs. Curly heading all the way over to second base. He's going to slide in with the extra base. Two RBI double from the sophomore. Two wild pitches allowed Curly to go from first to third. There's a swing and a high drive. Get out of here, ball. It's going towards the softball field. Bryson Horn, his second home run today. Oh my goodness.